Differentiated services or DIF serve as a computer networking architecture that specifies a simple, scalable and coarse-grained mechanism for classifying and managing network traffic and providing quality of service on modern IP networks. DIF serve can, for example, be used to provide low latency to critical network traffic such as voice or streaming media while providing simple best effort service to non-critical services such as web traffic or file transfers. DiffServe uses a 6-bit differentiated services code point in the 8-bit differentiated services field in the IP header for packet classification purposes. The DS field and ECN field replace the outdated IPv40 OS field. Background since modern data networks carry many different types of services, including voice, video, streaming music, web pages and email, many of the proposed CoS mechanisms that allowed these services to coexist were both complex and failed to scale to meet the demands of the public Internet. In December 1998, the IETF published RFC 2474, definition of the differentiated services field in the IPv4 and IPv6 headers, which replaced the IPv4 TOS field with the DS field. In the DS field, a range of eight values is used for backward compatibility with the IP precedent specification in the former TOS field. Today, DiffServe has largely supplanted TOS and other layer 3 COS mechanisms, such as integrated services, as the primary architecture route is used to provide different levels of service. Traffic management mechanisms DIF serve as a coarse-grained, class-based mechanism for traffic management. In contrast, INT serve as a fine-grained, flow-based mechanism. DIF serve relies on a mechanism to classify and mark packets as belonging to a specific class. DIF serve aware routers implement per hop behaviors, which define the packet forwarding properties associated with a class of traffic. Different PHBs may be defined to offer, for example, low loss or low latency. DiffServe operates on the principle of traffic classification, where each data packet is placed into a limited number of traffic classes, rather than differentiating network traffic based on the requirements of an individual flow. Each router on the network is configured to differentiate traffic based on its class. Each traffic class can be managed differently, ensuring preferential treatment for higher priority traffic on the network. The premise of DIFSERV is that complicated functions such as packet classification and policing can be carried out at the edge of the network by edge routers who then mark the packet to receive a particular type of per hop behavior. Core router functionality can then be kept simple. No classification and policing is required. Such routers simply apply PHP treatment to packets based on the marking. PHP treatment is achieved by core routers using a combination of scheduling policy and queue management policy. While DiffServe does recommend a standardized set of traffic classes, the DiffServe architecture does not incorporate predetermined judgments of what types of traffic should be given priority treatment. DiffServe simply provides a framework to allow classification and differentiated treatment. The standard traffic classes serve to simplify interoperability between different networks and different vendors' equipment. DiffServe Domain, a group of routers that implement common, administratively defined DiffServe policies are referred to as a DiffServe Domain. Classification and Marking Network traffic entering a DiffServe Domain is subjected to classification and conditioning. Traffic may be classified by many different parameters, such as source address destination address or traffic type and assigned to a specific traffic class. Traffic classifiers may honor any diff serve markings in received packets or may elect to ignore or override those markings. Because network operators want tight control over volumes and type of traffic in a given class, it is very rare that the network honors markings at the ingress to the diff serve domain. Traffic in each class may be further conditioned by subjecting the traffic to rate limiters, traffic policers or shapers. The per hop behavior is determined by the DS field of the IP header. The DS field contains a 6-bit differentiated services code point value. Explicit congestion notification occupies the least significant two bits of the IPv4 type of service field and IPv6 traffic class field. In theory, 
a network could have up to 64 different traffic classes using different DSCPs. The diff server FCs recommend, but do not require, certain encodings. This gives a network operator great flexibility in defining traffic classes. In practice, however, most networks use the following commonly defined per hop behaviors, default PHBA Euro, which is typically best effort traffic, expedited forwarding PHBA Euro dedicated to low loss, low latency traffic, assured forwarding PHBA Euro gives assurance of delivery under prescribed conditions, class selector PHBSA Euro which maintain backward compatibility with the IP precedence field. Default PHBA default PHB PHB is the only required behavior. Essentially, any traffic that does not meet the requirements of any of the other defined classes is placed in the default PHB. Typically, the default PHB has best effort forwarding characteristics. The recommended DSCP for the default PHB is 0000B, Expedited forwarding PHB, the IETF defines expedited forwarding behavior in RFC 3246. The EFPHB has the characteristics of low delay, low loss and low jitter. These characteristics are suitable for voice, video and other real-time services. EF traffic is often given strict priority queuing above all other traffic classes. Because an overload of EF traffic will cause queuing delays and affect the jitter and delay tolerances within the class, EF traffic is often strictly controlled through admission control, policing and other mechanisms. Typical networks will limit EF traffic to no more than 30% a euro, and often much less a euro of the capacity of a link. The recommended DSCP for expedited forwarding is 101110B, Voice Admit PHB. The IETF defines voice admit behavior in RFC 5865. The voice admit PHB has identical characteristics to the expedited forwarding PHB. However voice admit traffic is also admitted by the network using a call admission control procedure. The recommended DSCP for voice admit is 101100B, Assured Forwarding PHB Group. The IETF defines the assured forwarding behavior in RFC 2597 and RFC 3260. Assured forwarding allows the operator to provide assurance of delivery as long as the traffic does not exceed some subscribed rate. Traffic that exceeds the subscription rate faces a higher probability of being dropped if congestion occurs. The AF behavior group defines four separate AF classes with class 4 having the highest priority. Within each class, packets are given a drop precedence. The combination of classes and drop precedence yields 12 separate DSCP encodings from AF11 through AF43. Some measure of priority and proportional fairness is defined between traffic in different classes. Should congestion occur between classes, the traffic in the higher class is given priority. Rather than using strict priority queuing, more balanced queue servicing algorithms such as fair queuing or weighted fair queuing are likely to be used. If congestion occurs within a class, the packets with the higher drop precedence are discarded first. To prevent issues associated with tail drop, more sophisticated drop selection algorithms such as random early detection are often used. Class selector PHB, prior to diff serve, IPv4 networks could use the precedence field in the TOS byte of the IPv4 header to mark priority traffic. The TOS octet and IP precedence were not widely used. The IETF agreed to reuse the TOS octet as the DS field for diff serve networks. In order to maintain backward compatibility with network devices that still use the precedence field, diff serve defines the class selector PHB. The class selector code points are of the form XXX100. The first three bits are the IP precedence bits. Each IP precedence value can be mapped into a diff serve class. CSO equals to IP precedence 0, CS1 to IP precedence 1, and so on. If a packet is received from a non diff serve aware router that used IP precedence markings, the diff serve router can still understand the encoding as a class selector code point. Design considerations, under diff serve, all the policing and classifying is done at the boundaries between diff serve domains. This means that in the core of the Internet, 
routers are unhindered by the complexities of collecting payment or enforcing agreements. That is, in contrast to IntServe, DiffServe requires no advanced setup, no reservation, and no time-consuming end-to-end negotiation for each flow. The details of how individual routers deal with the DS field is configuration-specific, therefore it is difficult to predict end-to-end -end behavior. This is complicated further if a packet crosses two or more DiffServe domains before reaching its destination. From a commercial viewpoint this means that it is impossible to sell different classes of end-to-end -end connectivity to end-users, as one provider's gold packet may be another's bronze. DiffServe or any other IP-based CoS marking does not ensure quality of the service or a specified service level agreement. By marking the packets, the sender indicates that it wants the packets to be treated as a specific service, but it can only hope that this happens. It is up to all the service providers and their routers in the path to ensure that their policies will take care of the packets in an appropriate fashion. The problem addressed by DiffServe does not exist in a system that has enough capacity to carry all traffic. Titelbaum and Stanislav argue instead the capacity of Internet links should be chosen large enough to prevent packet loss altogether. Bandwidth Broker, RFC 2638 from IETF defines the entity of the bandwidth broker in the framework of DiffServe. A bandwidth broker is an agent that has some knowledge of an organization's priorities and policies and allocates bandwidth with respect to those policies. In order to achieve an end-to-end -end allocation of resources across separate domains, the bandwidth broker managing a domain will have to communicate with its adjacent peers, which allows end-to-end -end services to be constructed out of purely bilateral agreements. Diff Server FCs RFC 2474 a Euro definition of the differentiated services field in the IPv4 and IPv6 headers, RFC 2475 a Euro an architecture for differentiated services, RFC 2597 a Euro assured forwarding PHP group, RFC 2983 a Euro differentiated services and tunnels, RFC 3086 a Euro definition of differentiated services per domain behaviors and rules for their specification, RFC 3140 a Euro per hop behavior identification codes, RFC 3246 a Euro an expedited forwarding PHP, RFC 3247 a Euro supplemental information for the new definition of the EFPHB. RFC 3260 a Euro new terminology and clarifications for DiffSilv, RFC 4594 a Euro configuration guidelines for DiffServe service classes, RFC 5865 a Euro a differentiated services code point for capacity admitted traffic, DiffServe management RFCs, RFC 3289 a Euro management information base for the differentiated services architecture, RFC 3290 a Euro an informal management model for differentiated services routers, RFC 3317 a Euro differentiated services quality of service. Policy information base, see also, bandwidth broker, class of service, integrated services, teletrophic engineering, traffic shaping, type of service, references, deploying IP and MPLS CoS for multi-service networks. Theory and Practice by John Evans, Clarence Fils-Fils, Differentiated Services for the Internet, by Caleb I. K. I. L. K. K. I., Macmillan Technical Publishing, Indianapolis, Indiana, USA, June 1999, is available in PDF format at 1. External links, IETF Diff Serve Working Group page, Cisco White Paper Euro Diff Serve The Scalable End-to-End -end Quality of Service Model, ACM SICOM 09 Paper Modeling and Understanding End-to-End -end Class of Service Policies in Operational Networks, proposes a practical model for extracting DiffServe policies, Cisco, implementing quality of service policies with DSCP, Cisco, DiffServe CoS recommendations, based on the guideline from RFC 4594, blocking a SPRX SQL injection attacks by configuring Cisco routers, Cisco News, blogs.